Hi guys! Today we're going to look at how we can use a seed value to procedurally generate the same level again and again. Previously we created this scene that generates a random maze. At the moment it creates a different maze every time. Ok, let's go to the maze generator script to see how we can generate the same maze again. We can see the algorithm uses Unity's random class to randomly generate the maze. By default this will give different results every time, but we can change this behaviour. The random class has a method called initState that allows us to set a seed value. For a given seed value the random class will always generate the same sequence of values giving the same end result. Let's add a serialised field for the seed value. Then in the start method we'll set this value using the random init state method. Ok, let's save this and switch back to Unity to try it out. We'll select the maze generator object in the hierarchy and set the seed value to 1. Let's press play to try this out. Now every time we start the game we get the same maze. If we change the seed to 2 and press play we'll get a different maze. So we could keep typing in different seed values until we find a maze we like. Another way would be to randomly generate the maze and then get the seed value used so we can create it again if we want to. You've probably seen this in games like Minecraft. A world is randomly generated, but you can get the seed value to regenerate exactly the same world again if you want. Let's switch back to the script to see how we can do this. Unfortunately, you can't get the seed value out of the random class, so we'll have to do it a different way. We'll add a serializable boolean value to indicate whether we want to use the seed. Then in the start method we'll check if this is true before initialising the seed value. If it's not true we'll create a new random seed. We'll create a random number between 1 and a million. Then we'll initialise the random class with this seed. We'll log this seed value to the console so we can use it again. Ok, let's save this and switch back to Unity to try it out. We'll leave the use seed value as false and press play. Now we have a different random maze, but if we look in the console we have the seed needed to generate it again. Let's stop the game and enter this seed value. Then we'll tick the use seed checkbox and press play. Now we get the same maze again. So now we can generate random levels but have the ability to play the same one again if we want. Ok, that covers everything for this video, hope you found it useful. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!